Well, all right, all right, all right. It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Red Tarot, and I am back at it again, back, back at it again. Yes, indeed. So let all my babies know what's your inner guided message that you have to yourself. What is your inner guidance that you would like to tell yourself right now? Okay, I have no idea what sign we're getting into. We're going to use the astral dive. We're going to shake them and break them and figure out which sign we're about to take and put on the table today. So everybody, if you could just like, you know, focus your energy real quick and we're going to pray that your sign comes out and we're going to get to it. Let's see. Here we go. All right. Let's see what sign we're going to take today. Is this the wonderful Taurus? No, no. Hold on, who there? Hop on, who there? No, this Taurus. This <laughs> is no, this Aries. This Aries. Oh my God, this is Aries, y'all. I swear, I'm so sorry. This is Aries. Wait, did we already do Aries? No, we didn't. We didn't do Aries. So Aries, keep it there, please. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. All right. All right. So, shout out to all my Aries. I want to give a big shout out to all my OGs, a big shout out to all my newbies, all of my babies for coming through, like, sharing, subscribing, and clicking this video. Um, Y'all know before we get into any guided messages, we always want to give Father God praise and acknowledgement. So if you wouldn't mind, bow your heads real quickly. I'm not going to make it long. Father God, we just want to thank you so much for bringing us here for the collective sign of Aries. We thank you for holding us. We thank you for molding us. We thank you for exposing us to all the greatness, all of the enrichment that is being um, blessed in our life right now. Father God, please give us that inner guidance, wisdom. If we could sit down and talk to ourselves and, and tell ourselves right now what we need to be more prosperous and happy and to bring just the longevity into our life. Like what would we say to ourselves? What do you need us to relate to ourselves right now? Father God, please give us the guidance and thank you for protecting us and uh, doing everything that it is that you do to and through us. In Jesus name, amen, amen, amen. All right. I said I wasn't going to make that long, but you know, sure. God said don't make no promises. Okay. All right, reload it. Okay, Aries, let's get into this. Aries, keep it there, please. What inner guidance do you have for yourself at this current moment? This is a timeless message. So whenever you catch this video is when you needed to receive the message. All right, Aries, we're going to do two more shuffles. And we want to see what messages you have for yourself at this current moment. What's that inner guidance that you would need to talk to yourself about? Alright. Alright, so what we got for Aries? Oh, I think I seen that a bar. I knew it. You got that prosperity card, okay, baby? Okay. We are reloading. Look that pocket. Your pockets is looking real good in the hood around here. Alright? So. I, why I see you folding up your money and, and putting it in the stash box like <laughs> why am I seeing it like secretly why am I seeing somebody like folding up some money and just like sliding it somewhere like you know what I'm saying like they sitting on it so no no you ain't see no money where you see some money I ain't see I ain't what money like <laughs> why y'all hide y'all resources for people here <laughs> and you got nurture oh I feel like God is nurturing you, your angels, your, uh, uh, why am I hearing like your guardian angels? Like, it's like a whole, why do I feel like you got a whole motherboard of like people that passed over that really watch over you and be tapping your ass to Aries when you don't be doing what you're supposed to do? Okay. Okay. So, well, I just heard like sometimes y'all be bumping into people and they just be telling you about your life and you be looking like how the fuck do these people know this like they don't even know me like why are you talking like you know me because they would because your spirit guys be telling them your spirit guys be telling them they be coming down and be picking individuals and be sending messages directly to you and I feel like you be feeling all offended like <laughs> I feel like it be your co-worker sometimes. Like, it's this one co-worker in particular. Like, she just always seemed to know what to say 
to you and you don't tell this woman none of your business but she be clocking your tea don't she <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of prosperity and abundance coming to you right now Aries um and mainly you're being urged to just like nurture yourself and spend your money wisely I feel like there's a group of spirit guys that are very proud of you at this my like very proud of you Aries very proud of you there's about to be an on pour of happiness there's about to be an on pour of resources like I feel like certain things that you used to worry about that used to give you anxiety or just like, well, I'm feeling like night pains. I'm feeling like night pains. Well, I'm feeling like somebody back hurting or some type of night pains. It can ever be just even your thoughts. Sometimes you just having to clear your thoughts from the day just so you can have a restful sleep. I feel like certain things that you used to work, work so hard for and um, worry about. I don't see that these things are being an issue for you anymore. I really don't. It says your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Y'all heard that? <laughs> I'm going to repeat that. Your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Follow your gut Aries. And like I said, whatever you've been doing recently that God and your spirit, your spiritual team, these spiritual mothers, aunties, or whatever that's just been reaching down and just been cascading this love and um, affection and warmth over you. Like, Aries, this is just me. Like, don't things feel different? It feels like it could be a little bit of the same, but it really is so much different that I feel like you have so much extra room where you don't stress, you don't worry. Like I said, the night pains, the things that you used to complain about, it's, it's just no more. And you got all of this extra energy, you got all of these new resources coming in. And I feel like you're having to find something new to do with yourself. So you may need to nurture new passions that are coming into you. I feel like it's like waves of information that's just being funneled into you. Um, go with those gut nudges and hunches and stuff. Like if you sometimes, mm, I think I should start a new hobby. I think I want to start fishing and go fishing. You know what I'm saying? It says, as you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. Hmm. So this, okay, spending a lot of time with your offspring. Spending a lot of time with your offspring right now will bring you a lot of balance and prosperity. Because I promise you, they're going to take good care of you later. Always make sure that you're being a good father and a good mother. Because these babies won't remember that. You got the Six of Swords and the King of Swords in the reverse. That, that, now, here got a typical Aries energy. What the hell are you cussing people out and upset about? What is going on? What is going on, Aries? Well, clearly I say I see that you're getting help and assistance. No, I don't need I don't think this is you, Aries. I don't think this is you. Cause I feel like you're aiding. They just say aiding and abetting. Oh, Lord. Who is you aiding in the bedding? Why Aries just said someone body... Who? Why Aries just said somebody about to get their final fix of me and then I'm gone. I'm gone for good. Your final fix of me? Who you giving that good wood chuck chuck if the wood chuck could chuck could? But who is you giving the good wood wood chuck chuck to? Like what? Nurture. So I don't know if this has something to do with your child, with a child, like legit. I just heard it's like, it's like I'm taking care of, I'm taking care of the child anyway. It's like you might as well let me take him or her with me why do i feel like aries might end up moving 
to another state or another area. Okay, so that's just like, okay, I live in the DMV area. If you live in D.C., you could just be simply moving across the border to Maryland. And you know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't nothing to us, but you might have never actually lived in Maryland before. And you may be taking your child with you to a better environment. It's just... I feel like the local scene is it is just not what it used to be anymore. With them three of swords and stuff, it's like you're getting away from some type of danger or torment or something that does not make you happy. Like something that's been like pissing you the fuck off and not bringing the best side out of you. You guys could be moving and taking your child with you because it's just like, I want to say healthy environment that is not bringing me out of my true colors because you bringing me out of my true colors you know or the colors that i want to be in right now the colors I, I was in yesteryears i done locked that up and i done put that away and i stored that shit away for safekeeping just in case i gotta come through and beat somebody ass real quick but for real for real y'all don't want no parts of that Y'all don't, don't know what you don't, don't you know no good, don't you know no good, but y'all don't know no good now. Y'all don't know no good. <laughs> it's like my guy got me on this high horse and he helping me make a smooth transit from a, a, a point in my life where it was just straight damnation and just listen <laughs> Aries don't play like if you want Aries to, to fuck some shit Aries will be the one <laughs> Aries will be the one that will come and fuck everything up the nigga you 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 know pissed me off now I'm about to fuck all y'all damn now if you now if you want some of that <laughs> but it's like Aries is trying to get away from and I really feel like it's not even your energy Aries it's something about Hold on, it's a piece of lavender on my table. So, like, maybe you guys need, like, a, um... Yeah, and it fell right on that prosperity, too. So, what I'm getting right there... Well, I heard somebody need a smooth drink of water. I heard it's nourishing, it's hydrating. You need to drink more water. I just heard... The closest thing you done got to a, something that looked like a bottle of water is a glass of Everclear. And bitch, I don't drink Everclear. I don't know nobody that drinks Is Isn't Everclear like moonshine? I've heard of it before, but I don't know nobody that partakes in it. I know good and damn well. Because <laughs> that's some strong shit. So it's like whatever. Oh, okay. You know what? Just let me just keep on going on. I think that Aries is trying to purify their system. Purify their living. Listen, look, you got the wedding and perfect timing. Come on, Aries. Stop playing with me. Aries just said, I'm married to my finances and just my overall growth. Like, that's the only thing I'm married to. I'm married to the game of me progressing and being a better me. That's it. And it's the perfect time to do it. Like, I just want to work on my relationship with God because he seemed the only one that's been listening to me. Because I feel like every single thing that you've been asking for has been truly coming through tuition. And, and it's and again, it's something like your guardian angel or the people on the other side that watch over you, that hover over you, that protect you. They have truly been holding you down. I don't know if you realize it or not. I know if you like actually sit back. I want to say, look at the past three years and uh, where you were and where you are now. Your overall internal change, you can see where this is making sense. You can see where this is making sense. And there is a lot of prosperous energy going. Like, your life is not the same anymore. I think that the last thing that you need to do is to move. Even if it's just on the other side of the street. It ain't in the same goddamn house. You ain't walking into the same energy every day. You can take your kids to a peaceful. It's something about taking your child to a peaceful environment. I need to get the hell on. I do. And I feel like you got enough money to get your own apartment. Um, and typically it is six of swords. Oh, Jesus, I'm going to drop it. 
typically in the six of swords it's like um someone receiving help or aid getting to like safe refuge it's just you and yourself it's just i feel like the only person that you need to help you um at this time is your child because your child helps you to temper your energy because it's like i'm i don't want my baby to see the side of me this child doesn't deserve that i'm carrying this baby on my back i i, I feel like you've been receiving help spiritually but physically you've been doing this shit all along and with the king of swords in the reverse i feel like you may be a little bit frustrated and I just like I don't want you to pop off on the wrong person. And especially with this um King of Swords in the reverse being right next to the nurturer in energy. I feel like your spirit guides have been like trying to calm you down to help you. Number one. Well, I feel like Aries isn't acknowledging the resources that they have, like. I feel like spiritually you're so rich and you you have everything that you need to commit yourself to this move. Okay, let me read the, the wedding in the perfect timing. It says, marriage is a union of two souls joined in love. Mutual respect and commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a testament of your well-founded faith in love's power. Continuously breathe life into that faith and love dear one now, i don't feel that you've reached that person yet but simply speaking and i'm just being honest if this is about you aries which it i mean who i'm reading for aries i'm definitely getting the masculine energy don't be surprised that once you free up some time and some space, I really feel like it's about pure free energy. Like, what you're coming home to. I feel like Aries only wants to deal with their self and their baby. And this new apartment, this new home that they're getting, they don't want to live there alone. They want their child with them every day. Because I feel like Aries has been dealing and has been doing everything as a great father and provider every day anyway. And it's like, now that I got these resources i want my baby home with me it's it's i feel like it's a more safe environment i don't know if like where the child currently lives at it's just not it's not it's not a safe refuge and you're being set aside in the area where you can really nurture your child you can nurture a committed relationship i feel like it's free like you're free to be. This is the perfect timing. Now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspiration. The door is open. I swear the door is open for you to leave. If you've been wanting to leave, you got enough money. You got the support to do this. Like, call some movers. Like, let's get let, let, let's get it going. Like, what are we waiting for? Because I feel like if this if the energy of this king of swords in the first is like, if this bitch say one more thing to me, I swear to God, I'm going to pop her this bitch in her forehead. Don't pop her, please. Like, just leave. <laughs> just leave. <laughs> Look. Dun, 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 dun. Listen, you have just been approved for a brand new luxury apartment in the sky rise, in the penthouse. Like, you are the lucky winner. Like, it, it, it's time to go. Anyway, it says, don't delay or procrastinate. I just said that. As all of the ingredients are right for your sister. Bitch, I, you know what? Child, you can't tell me. Woo, child, I'll be reading these cards before I even read the damn card. Um, It says everything and everyone is on your side supporting you. Your positive outcome. Ain't I telling you this? Look, ain't I? Ain't I? Ain't I? Ain't I on my shit? Ain't I doing it big? Bitch, what is you talking about? I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about, bruh. Go ahead and move out, please. Like, I will help you. <laughs> I swear I will help you. Like, bruh, like, please move out. Like, you will feel so much better once you have your own space and your own 
opportunities that you're creating. You're not walking into anybody else's chaos. You, you got your own standard that you're setting in your humble abode with your beautiful baby. And it's just you and your beautiful baby. It's peaceful. And I love it. I really love it. You got the two of cups in the reverse and the seven of cups. So I feel like if yeah, you guys might have been confused and you got thrown off for a good little while. I feel like I, well, I feel like this could have been seven years long coming. Especially if you sent you spent anything over five to seven years with somebody or a situation or just something or just struggling. And the only reason why I'm bringing up a relationship is because it says wedding here. I feel like God is preparing yourself for like true honor, true commitment. And you know God don't bless no mess. So sometimes you got to pack up and move and have a whole new sparkly, clean and free environment. Um, whatever this was that um, you're clearly leaving from, something that has you a little bit upset. I, I was about to say because things ain't going your way. And then Aries just said things ain't been going my way. And you are right. It has been about six to seven years plus of disagreements or just bullshit. And it's like, I feel like at that point in time when Aries got their self fixated with whatever this was. It's like Aries didn't really know their self. And I just heard you still playing around testing the waters and it's like sometimes you get stuck you get you get stuck you get stuck and it's like this connection isn't balanced enough this job isn't giving me enough room to grow um there's too many petty arguments there's too many uh, misunderstanding it's just naturally not fitting um it's something about you want to go back out to the playing field and try again because you've learned so many lessons from these past several years of getting to know yourself and getting to know what's out there. It's like it got to be something else out there because it's like I'm not connecting in the way that I really, really would like to. You know what I'm saying? So I think because of a connection that is like or something that is not satisfactory to you and you really want to experience true satisfaction you want you to be happy you want your children to be happy you just want to see overall happiness and growth and tranquility in your life and that's why it's like to get to this prosperity it's like you might got to go to the other side of the fence I'm here on the sunny side of the street you got to go to the sunny side of the street in order to find a true connection you got to be willing to let ones go that are not truly meant for you. Don't try to force anything. Don't try to force anything. Because guess what? You got other options. And it's the perfect timing to get out there. And you go on those hunt, hunt hunches. Go off of your gut instinct. There's something better out there. And it's more self-discovery for you because the only way you can figure out what you don't like or what you don't want is if you put yourself out there to, um, you know, sift through them box of chocolates. I don't like the chocolate with the goddamn strawberry. I mean, with, with, with that cherry shit. In it. Oh, oh, that is some nasty shit. I hate that shit. Oh, my God. What do they call Marshawn? Marshawn? The sweet cherries. I don't like it on nothing. I don't like it on ice cream sundae. I don't like, you know what? I get mad every time I go to Sonic's and I order a shake. And I specifically tell them, do not put that fucking cherry on my whipped cream. And they always do it and it just destroys my whipped cream. And I always have to pop the top off and knock all of that shit off. Because I do not want to that. I do not like any of that nasty cherry taste touching nothing I love. Okay? So it's something here about y'all don't want that nasty cherry taste touching nothing I love. You understand what I'm saying? I'm leaving all that shit on the wayside. Mm-mm. Can't come here. You can't access here. You can't come here no more. You cannot come here no more. We ain't connecting. I just heard. I, I just want to get rid of you. Because I want. I, I, 
it's like Aries just wants something in someone that truly understands and where they're not constantly getting bent out of shape. It's like, I just want to be happy for once. I want to like not have to cut. Do y'all think I want to cuss motherfuckers out? Do y'all think I want to show my ass? Or do y'all think I'm standing up for myself? And it's like, as soon as y'all got a bitch ass motherfucker that is, you know, that don't stand up for themselves and let you run all over them and stuff like that, then y'all be calling them a sucker and all that shit like that and talking shit about them. So if you, 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 you talk shit about them, if they a sucker and if they don't stand up for themselves and if they do stand up for themselves, y'all act like we got a fucking attitude problem. No, 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 no. No. Shit ain't working for me. I gotta find something else. It's like, I, got, I gotta find something else. It's something better I can be creating. It's something better that I can be doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever it was that you were venturing on, that you were giving your time, it's like you fell out of love with that shit. It's like, it's, I just heard, I don't even like coming here no more. I definitely, I'm definitely not bringing my child here. Def not. For sure not. So for whoever this is that's dealing with an Aries, if you if it's not an environment, and this could even be like family and friends, I'm I'm hearing too. If it's not a positive connection, if it's not a positive connection, Aries is not entertaining it, it's not invited into Aries life. Aries is getting rid of it. Like, and it's a perfect timing because everything that's been coming in Aries' life is so beautiful right now. It's like, let me get rid of these puzzles with missing pieces. You ain't got it all together for me, Slim. Why in the fuck would I sit there and waste my time trying to put the puzzle together with missing pe pieces where I would never see the big picture? That was some powerful shit right there. I just I, that just came off the top of my head, like for real, for real. But for real, I'm serious. Like, what type of fool would sit there wasting their time? And that, and that just goes back to the seven of cups because it's like if you don't know yourself, let's just say you like unicorns, right? I love unicorns. I got all type of puzzles. There's a parakeet. There's a skunk. There's a a a, a, a puzzle. You put together like money. It's one of God. Like there's all of these different things. But all of these other puzzles. They got all the pieces. No missing pieces. But the one that you just. Have a particular liking for. Which is unicorns. Everybody knows that you like unicorns. Aries likes unicorns. Aries is a unicorn. Whatever, whatever, whatever. But it got like five missing pieces in it. Five missing pieces where all those other puzzles, even though it might not have been a unicorn, shit, you might end up liking parakeet puzzles going forward or something with biblical scriptures or something that's, you know what I'm saying? It's like, why am I seeing a puzzle that it's like literally like a picture but at the bottom, it like it literally has like a biblical strip scripture, and because you know that scripture by heart, it's easy for you to put the bottom together and build it up. You know what I'm saying? So you like you start from the bottom and building up, but with all of the pieces this time, it's like it's not a waste of my time and waste of energy. And that, that that's why why because where did where did that car go? It's like now I'm getting, God, why did Aries just say, man, straight up, if I'd have known that this puzzle had missing pieces in it, I'd have left a long time ago. Like, that's why I'm frustrated. Because I'm like, I'm putting all this energy, putting this, this puzzle together, and whole time I'm, I'm, I'm realizing it's because I don't have it all together. I don't have all of the pieces and I was never going to be complete with this. I was never going to be satisfied with this. I was never going to be able to lacquer this bitch and put it up on my wall or post my, my, uh, 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 1500 piece puzzle on Instagram and, you know, put as part of my puzzle piece collection. Like I was never, that's why I'm so frustrated. That's why I'm so unhappy. And had I known, I done left a long motherfucking time ago. Like, y'all is wasting my time. You know, so, like, yeah. This time, 
why you got a lot more better options. Like a moth to the flame, burned by the fire. And I like how, you know, even though this is the air sign, I like those wings in the back. Because it's definitely giving firebird energy. And one thing I can tell you about Aries, Aries mean what the fuck they say and they ain't playing. They don't shake waffle or fall for not a motherfucker. Okay? Not a damn person. I mean it and I said it. And if you ain't heard me the first time, you damn sure ain't going to hear me the last time. Because, bitch, that was bleep bleep. That was all folks. So, y'all, this has been y'all's reading. I hope that it helped. I'm about to go over to the love portion. So, make sure that y'all check that video out as well. And Aries, like, I can't wait to see your new apartment. I can't wait, you know, for you guys to really live in your truth. Really live in your truth. I really think if you would have been, if you would have knew a long time ago, you'd have made better decisions. But guess what? You know yourself better now. And with that seven of cups, it looks like you're trying to go back out there, explore other options and get to know yourself even more. Because the more and more you're changing, the more and more you see that your taste is expanding and evolving. And it's like, I, I, I want to learn more about this new me. So, shout out to you, Aries. I love you guys. Y'all make sure that the, the easiest way to send me free love and support is by hitting the like button. Y'all hit that like button. Y'all let me know down in the comments if this resonated. I'll talk to y'all later. I'll see you in the love portion. Peace.